Hello everyone, Aubrey here and welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. Today I'm doing a build that has been requested like crazy for the last couple of months. Um, so today we're doing the base game build and uh, this was actually really challenging to do. Um, just because when... When I build, I just use the items that I want to use and the items that I think fit in in the theme that I'm working in. And in this build, I could only use base game stuff and there was just so many things that I wanted to use that I could not use. And um, there's actually a time in this build or a couple of times where I accidentally take an item because I... I just didn't think about it was not base game and I put it in and I had to delete stuff again and find something else to put instead of that object. So th it was really challenging, but I think I turned out it, it turned out to be a really nice house. So I decided to go for this modern looking house and uh, that might be uh, that might be very. uh like very me to go for something modern but I just knew that with the amount of objects that we have uh, for the base game most of them is for a modern build so that's why I decided to go with a modern home here and uh, this is a lot in Brindleton, Brindle, Brindleton Bay there we go for those of you guys who were wondering <clears throat> it's an absolutely lovely uh, town and it's probably one of my favorite towns um, at the moment. So at first here I decided to go with this wooden texture for the outside and then have like this black um, texture to complement it. But we're going to change that in a little bit. So every thing that you see that is wooden, we're going to change that to be um to be green instead just because i wanted to bring in some color and i f i'm just gonna say now the inside is probably my favorite thing i have done in a little while um i tried to bring as much color as possible into this build without overdoing it and um i think it turned out to be such a such an amazing like uh, interior in this build and i'm super super happy about how it turned out um i mean it's it's not the uh... god damn it zoe what are you doing she's literally just looking at me like you know with that face like she did something wrong she knows she did something wrong and i have no idea what she did so I gotta keep my eye on her. What was I saying? Uh, yeah, the interior. Um, I just tried to bring in a lot of color and still keep it super modern. So we have some very bright, like in your face colors on the walls and in some furniture. And then I tried to balance that out with having neutral looking uh, furniture like whites and grays and, and blacks. Uh, to kind of balance off the bright colors that we had on the wall. Um, so this house contains two bedrooms. So we have one master bedroom, which is upstairs. And then I decided to make a, a girl's room, teenage girl's room um, downstairs. And we have one bathroom. We have a kitchen dining room uh, in one and we have a little study area right when you come into the house. And then we have a living room. And actually you have two living rooms. But one is more like a a hangout space. Uh, and the other living room that we have downstairs is with a television. So uh, yeah. We're working on the kitchen now. And again, this build was all about um, keeping everything modern. And I chose to have this really bright looking green uh, turquoise color on the wall. Uh, maybe it's emerald. I don't know. Um, and then I wanted to balance that out with having a, 
a bit more of a toned down kitchen so i decided to go with these uh, grayish black colors in the kitchen and then kind of trying to complement everything with uh the furniture that we're going to put in for the um for the dining room space uh so a white table and some chairs that i think personally complemented the wallpaper really well uh, so the, the, it's generally the theme that we're going with in this house. So we use blue, turquoise, and uh, this emerald green-ish color. Uh, and I try to balance it out, balance it out with, um, you know, with more neutral colors. And I think it turned out to be a very nice house. Um, and for those of you who are asking, yes, all of my houses are always on the gallery. And uh, <laughs> if you watched the video till the end, you would know that I always end my videos with saying you can find the house on the gallery right now, la 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 la. And uh, yeah, apparently some people don't watch all all the way through, which is uh, why I, I don't actually answer when people ask if it's on the gallery. It's just like, watch the video, you'll get your answer. So here's the entrance into the um, <clears throat> into the build, and I thought it could be fun to have a different kind of entrance where we don't have coat hangers and and that kind of stuff. So I wanted to have a little seating area with. Um, I initially wanted a computer there, but uh, a tablet was what could um, go on top of the shelf, and uh, then I put in a little chair. Of course, the chair is not usable, it's purely for aesthetics. And as you might have seen just a couple of seconds ago, uh, I put in those um, lights from Dine Out, those really beautiful lights in the uh, glass bowl. And I could not use those because it's not base game material. So that was annoying. <laughs> and I just had to find... Um, some other decorative items to put on the shelves. And I do gotta say that the decorative items in the base game was just not good. I mean, I, I'm, I think that the Sims 4 base game is actually the weakest of the base games in any of the Sim games in the series. And uh, that's saying a lot because I, I feel like Sims 2 had a really weak uh, base game as well. And the Sims 3, 3 wasn't the best base game stuff, but at least we had the uh, creator style option. So you could kind of make everything look unique. And that's just not the case here. We only have the color wheel, which doesn't do a whole heck of a lot to uh, to help you out with with that aspect so yeah but this is actually a feature I'm using a lot throughout this house with these two uh, bookcases and then kind of creating my own shelvings in between and putting loads of stuff on that too and it's so cool now that you can scale up and down things uh, so we can scale them up and you do that with the um, I believe it's control and the right and left bracket to to scale up and down. Um, and then on my keyboard, I don't know what it is for everybody else, but on my keyboard, for those of you who are asking, to move things up and down, like I'm doing a lot in this build to, to get things into place, I use uh, shift, alt, and nine to move things up and shift alt and zero to move things down um, that might be something else for you guys just because i have a scandinavian keyboard uh so where my uh where your brackets are you know the brackets to to scale things up and down i don't actually have brackets there i have another letter in Danish that is named O and uh, then I have like a plus sign besides that so yeah it's um it's sometimes a bit difficult to find out what uh, what keys to use just because 
EA doesn't actually tell you. And it actually took me quite a long time uh, on this channel before I actually figured out how to scale things up and down just because there was no guide anywhere. Um, so yeah, I finally figured it out after a little while and uh, I do have to say that it's probably one of my favorite features in The Sims 4 that the, the fact that you can scale things up and down and move them up and down free of the grid I think that's really nice so while I've been rambling on we have made the uh, the living room and uh, we're now working on and almost finished with the teenage girls room and I know it's very cliche to, to go for a pink room, but if you know me and have followed my channel for a while, you know I don't usually go with pink just because I don't actually like the color pink. And uh, I usually make boys rooms just because I feel like those are a bit easier to do. But I do have to say that I really do enjoy the way that uh, the teenage girls room actually turned out. I think it's it's a very nice looking room i gotta say um so upstairs here again this is uh the other living space um and it's a bit more turned down so we just have a couple of books and you know some decorative items on the shelvings here and uh then i'm gonna put in a sofa and two types of chairs a rug and some plants all around the place and that's kind of it i i didn't want to go too heavy with stuff um up here uh I, I just needed the upstairs to be a bit more spacious and toned down than the downstairs so that's why i chose to have the blue uh, navy blue colored walls um, and kind of a bit more toned down in the color section as well up here um, and just some decorative items along the walls and we're going to have a little reading area as well and I'm, I, I do believe that I'm also going to put in a guitar in the other corner right where the doorway is into the um, master bedroom guitar where is it yeah there we go just because i figured it would look nice to have a skill and you know just to fill out the space a bit so the master bedroom here now looking at it now i don't actually know how i feel about it um i mean it's a nice looking room and i'm overall uh, happy about how it turned out but I do have to say that I feel like it could have been a bit better um, compared to the downstairs bedroom but I don't hate it I just think that it could could use a little work to be honest um, but you know that's just me I mean it, it is what it is and it's on the gallery right now so I can't really change it. I, I don't hate the master bedroom, but um, I don't know. There's just something I, I feel like it could have used a bit more work, but uh, it's too late now. It's, it is what it is. But we, of course, have all the essential things. And at this point, I was actually struggling to figure out uh, what type of furniture to f put into the place just because I felt like I had used every single thing. And... I was just kind of running out of stuff to put into the house. Um, and of course, I totally forgot to do the bathroom. And I do not like building the bathrooms. And that's something I say probably in every single video. And that's actually some videos where I don't even show me doing the bathrooms. Just because I don't know what, what it is. I just have a not good relationship with the bathroom buildings um i don't find them interesting at all <laughs> to be honest but i th i mean it turned out quite nice and i i wouldn't say that i haven't done some really good bathrooms in in my time on youtube but um yeah it's just 
really not my thing, the bathrooms. But, I mean, it turned out nice. And it's a nice-looking family bathroom. So, uh, I don't complain there. So, we're going to move outside now. And this is actually... this. At this point, I really felt the limitations of uh, the base game stuff. I wanted to kind of do uh, the thing where we can have some sunbathing um, chairs and stuff like that. But that is not in the base game. So all of these big balconies that I used is totally useless at this point. Uh, so, of course, if you're going to get this built... Put in whatever stuff you want. Change things to things that is not from the base game. Um, but as this is a base game build. I I didn't have any options to do uh, much with the furniture outside. Just because there wasn't actually any good furniture to be honest. Um, so I just tried to make it work. And put in seating areas here and there and a barbecue area and you know some plant boxes and stuff like that and yeah i think it turned out quite quite good you know with the limitations that i had a little pool in the corner of the lot i thought that looked very nice and just to kind of you know get something different and another seating area with an umbrella this time or a sun umbrella whatever you want to call it and then i'm starting to to work on the uh the garden uh that is in quotation garden um i only wanted to have a garden go around the house so all of the other stuff is just kind of filler with the um with the trees and stuff here <clears throat> excuse me and uh the reason for that is just uh, the the flowers in the base game as well N oh, my god really <laughs> really not good I, I mean i'm so grateful that we have expansion packs and stuff like that but i just feel like that people that only have the base game just have such a limited time playing this game just because there's not a lot of stuff and it's i feel very sad for people who only have the base game and i know there's a lot of you guys that only have the base game and maybe a stuff pack here and there um and not really any expansion packs and be just because you can afford them and i'm very lucky to have youtube um have the income from youtube because you guys watch my videos that can help me pay for expansion packs and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, thank you for that. But we were walked walked in. We are watching the screenshots now from the inside. So we just watch the kitchen. Here is the entrance to the room, and I do really like the little seating area um, with the chair there. I think it's very cool looking. Just a shot so you can see upstairs and we have the little seating arrangement on the end of the hall. The living room here looking very nice and I do like the colors in this house. Just color scheme is very nice looking. Um, girls bedroom here. I, I do have to say I, I really enjoy how the girl's bedroom turned out i think it's uh it's something different and it's it, it doesn't look like something that i would do so uh yeah the upstairs here looking uh very nice i'm i'm actually really happy about how the shelving uh arrangement turned out in this build i, I do have to say it's uh it's something different and i found out that uh, being limited to certain items, uh, had I had to think in different ways. So uh, yeah, remember you can get this build on the gallery right now. Just search Aubrey, and uh, you should be able to find it. And yeah, that's it. So uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So be sure to leave it a big like, subscribe, and share to share it with your friends and uh, leave a comment down below what you thought about the build and there's nothing else for me to say other than have a truly fantastic day wherever you are in the world and i will see you next time